Hello YouTubers and welcome to the August 2015 update for the Des Moines Valley Railroad. Uh, this summer has been a, a pretty busy one with lots of activity going on. I have had a chance to do a few things like I mentioned last month on the railroad. Uh, one of the things I've been concentrating on this month is some details, uh, adding some details to scenes, some people and vehicles and uh, adding a little bit more scenery and, and just detailing up some scenes a little more. I have a long ways to go still in that department, but I thought I'd create a few vignettes here and there and kind of create some uh, interest when visitors come around to the layout uh, to be able to, to find certain things. And my, eventually my goal is to print up a little sheet uh, of can you find this, can you find that. So just various little activities on the railroad. So give me a minute and I'll show you a few scenes that I've started and uh, a lot more to go. So anyway, hang on and I'll, I'll show you the, the scenes. Okay, here's one of the first scenes that I added uh, as far as detailed um, scenes to the layout. Uh, this is a farmer's market. And then as you can see here, we've got uh, a lady. Let's zoom in. We've got a little la uh, lady here uh, buying some fresh produce and fruits and vegetables and things from the uh, shopkeeper. And uh, we've got a guy over here bringing in some more to replenish the ones that have been sold. We've got another guy back there with a sack on his back and more sacks next to him. And uh, just kind of a nice little scene to catch your eye uh, out here in just between Lighton and, and Pella. A little rural scene. Hey, and here we have a, a farm scene. We've got a tractor behind the trees there. We've got a a girl with her horse. And we've got a boy holding a cow. And another guy milking the cow. And a guy uh, pitching, pitchforking with the hay. And uh, just kind of a neat little scene for the farm. Here at the Pella engine facility, we see uh, some activity going on here. We've got the switcher engine being serviced, getting fuel added to it, and sand, and various other things going on. And the guy back here uh, hanging out. All these create life and interest to uh, a scene on a railroad. Even a dock scene like this one can be kind of fun where you add the different elements. We've got uh, different freight. Uh, we got bags and barrels and fork truck and just kind of adding little details to the, the scene. Kind of enjoy this scene too with a busy crosswalk here on Main Street with the, the bank in the background. Again, we have a few people doing things and um, got a few things going on, but it's just kind of nice to, to add a few more every time and create visual interest. Here's the Memorial Park in Pella. We've got quite a few folks out today. Uh, we've got a guy waiting for his turn at the restroom facilities. And we've got uh, lots of kids and people playing around. Uh, we've got the mailman heading over to the mailbox back there behind the sign to uh, pull that out. And a telephone booth and signs and a memorial and flag kind of completes the scene here. Here we are at the Pella Depot. There's a little bit of activity going on here. Some people waiting and hanging out, whether they're waiting for a train or just uh, waiting for a ride. Being that the Des Moines Valley is mostly a freight only line, I doubt they're waiting for a train.
busy street scenes are always kind of a fun thing to to uh, add uh, trucks and cars and a few people here and there as well as uh, some operating traffic lights and um, just you know, as far as your imagination can go actually I mean there's plenty of stuff out there that uh, simulates different elements in the real world uh, this scene is only partially done uh, I still want to add more detail as well to it uh, it's a little more um, in the way of roughing it up a bit and um, adding a few more people and uh, little vignettes going on so it's just so you can do it kind of in layers kind of start with the, the basic layer and then just keep uh, going on and on and uh, take a little bit at a time I don't try to hit a huge area. What I do is I take little pockets of areas and uh, kind of expand them from there. There's another scene of uh, construction going on in these buildings. Got the masons working away, doing the brickwork and other construction guys working on things. Also got road work going on here too. as the train rolls by. I also have the drive-in which I still have to do with more detailing as well. Right now we've got some vehicles ready for the uh, show to start. But, um, I haven't added people here to this scene yet but I plan to. Here in Otley we've got a, a couple of people sitting on the bench here and more details with the mailbox and the fire plug and the mailman. Looks like he's heading that way. Got a motorcycle. Just a few figures here and there to kind of liven up the street scene. Over here at the co-op, we've got a guy that pulled into the uh, the grain elevator, and he's heading for the office to have a chat with the supervisor. Here we've got a couple other things going on. We've got a backyard barbecue. Guy cooking on the grill. And uh, just enjoying the summer fun with a little cooler there and a little dog wanting some attention. It's kind of a fun scene as the train rolls by. Also over here, this house, we've got some yard work going on. I'm mowing and raking and doing some kids playing in the yard. Another guy out doing some yard work too, putzing around his yard. Um, kind of a fun, fun little details to add. Kind of adds interest and as people walk around the layout and point out things that are going on and, and having people really uh, kind of livens the scene, that scene up doesn't make it look so stark. Over here at the roadside inn we've got a little bit of a problem back here. A little police activity going on. Looks like a couple of people are been apprehended there. And out front got a little bit of uh, visiting going on with the people here. guy with his son and could be his wife talking with him and old gentleman out there going for smoke. Here at the hotel we've got a couple leaving whether they're just got their keys and arriving or they're just heading out for a night on the town or we've got some people here as well. We've got a guy grabbing a drink with his bike. This gas station scene. And over here by the Monroe Freight Depot, we've got some kids kind of enjoying the afternoon, sitting on the luggage cart and just kind of hanging out for by the railroad while we wait for the next train coming through. So anyway, guys, that's what we have uh, this month. Um, adding details really can add life and realism to the railroad. Um, it's 
it's really kind of a fun project too to be able to create the little vignettes, little scenes, and uh, have people um, looking for the different uh, activities going on. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thanks, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll see you again next month right here on the Des Moines Valley Railroad. So until then, take care. Uh, have a great rest of your summer, and uh, we will uh, talk again in the fall. Thanks for watching.